Go you know, aftershock for a minute once he saw this uh, HK Riders pick GM, but he did not. He's sticking with Crystalline. And I'm gonna assume when he's flexed up, that clone doesn't matter, it just takes the armor off. And you know, I actually like this pick. The zoning and the armor are very effective against Sub Zero, and Destroyer does not want to deal with being in the corner as Predator with that clone up. Nice forward one anti air. And a very good anti cross. And destroy and Look here. at this. Destroyer has three bars. He's got all the health. And yeah, just like that, the flex absorbs that clone. Riders has zero meter. Nice live reaction there. And you know, for how that round was going, HK Riders got Destroyer off the resources and yes, evened it did. out. Right before the end of that round. So, luckily, Destroyer's not coming in this round with three bars. Oh, almost got the side switch! D doing the instant run into the forward one the other way would have been much easier to convert. But Destroyer, I think, may have gone for a couple more percentages there. I like how Riders is actually checking him with down ones. You'll you'll see him. He'll... Well, I think he tried to go for a back two there, but... The clone will not work in the corner. Apollo, please. Jesus. And oh, the oh no! Okay, and the unblockable. Oh, and it hits scale three percent for three hits. And nobody has meter. Oh, but it's a down four into a clone. That was right. so good. That was so good. This comeback. Two more big Quick. setups here. Oh my God! This is what you. Oh do. no! He didn't quick rise to go for the two four two combo, and that's gonna cost him. Fight. But I I'll tell you this, man. Riders. Like he he. He was blocking most of the mix-ups. He was he was challenging with a down one every so often. When he knew he could. Very nice crossover. Like he he's not he's not uh, on tilt by this so far. The, oh my God! The X-ray destroyer that was savage right there, ladies and gentlemen. That early of an X-ray, but he's gonna get meter back so quick. With all those cancels, all those plus low pinwheels, as I'll call it. Okay, there we go. And unfortunately, Ryder comes off his breaker. Fight. Okay, he had the flex up. That clone does not matter. The down one went through the clone. What a hitbox on that down one. And, and usually, it'd be the down four to do it because the down right. four actually puts him back just a little bit. It's so far forward. Like Glory, start box on it. Okay. Oh no, no conversion yet. Nice, nice handsome there. He picked it right back up. That is so smart. I like it, man. Very, very, very good down one check. Okay, he's gonna go. Okay, I thought he was gonna slide. Don't let this fall apart. Don't get hit. Okay, he's got a lot of mistakes behind him. No. Destroyer puts him back in the corner. Ultimate flex. He's just got a challenge. One EX slide is going to do it. Will he block? It'll, it'll ship. Oh, no. It won't get EX. That flex. is right. And he had EX. Destroyer. We see it once. Oh, my God. Somebody does. Somebody did it, man. John Cena. Here we go. Destroyer. <laughs> Looking to close this out 3 0. Number four in the points for Combat Cup. Showing a great display of matchup knowledge and wow, just absorbing and taking his turn. That's what that armor is for. Trimmer, man. The Destroyer making him look so freaking good. I almost want to pick up Trimmer just from watching Destroyer. He's got three bars. He's taking all this health. He's got cancels and mixes. And this is going to do it for this round. No, he misses. But Chip Out is going to do it. Destroyer on set point. Round two, fight. But crossed up into the corner. Another cross up, standing one anti or whiffs. Okay, that is plus. And a cheeky uh, little down one. one into the overhead pad. And who's going to get some plus frames? Oh, if you'd have canceled into the interactable throw, great plus frames off of it. 
Maybe not one of the first tremors to do that in bracket. Alucard! Ooh, I way back, Alucard. Way back in the day. And then one more hit is gonna do it. The clone saves him. <laughs> I, I, he does open him up. Only a real bastard. And what a flash parry from Destroyer. I think I think what Destroyer was trying to go for was the brutality on the rock throw. That We go with the Injustice Ninjutsu Scorpion versus Beyond Toxins Mystic Ermac. Got him with the back four into a throw. This won't have the damage, but one throw at the end of it possibly could kill, maybe. Wow, look at Blake. Look at, I love the aggression early. He, he's I mean, he trying to set the pace. And there it is. That's not going to kill, though. Very good stuff from Blake coming out. A lot of aggression. Wow, what a whip on the shoulder from Toxin. And this is this is the the patient Blake that we're all used to seeing. Just, just wait, wait, waiting his turn, adapting, playing a solid, a solid game. push. And a throw from Toxin himself. Ooh, mate, both of those hits whiff. He wasn't able to capitalize into a throw. It's just oh a stand three and the, and the balls and the savagery to commit to stand three spear. And he has an x-ray on deck and wow! What? Blake. This is a completely different Blake than even I know. Look, Welcome. Man, Ooh. Welcome to Savageville, population you, bro. Fight. And here we are. The standing three whiff punish. You just see how offensive Blake is, but when he's on defense, he's patient. He waits his turn. Go try and oh, the down two. Oh my god. Wow, Blake playing out of his mind right now. He's actually just trying to get Toxin on tilt, it seems, playing so aggressive, which is on the contrary of Jago Blake, who is used to playing so patient, a spacing game, not overcommitting. He's just playing so savage right now. The down one, there it is. There's not much else you can say, man. Blake, the down two, and it, oh, the conversion! conversion! Blake! And he had the conversion, but like, he has practiced that conversion. Oh no, oh, no. please don't let it be so. Slowly evening out. Toxin just not able to get anything started. Should be his chance. With the mix, it would have kept it safe. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been safe. That mix would not have. Oh my gosh, the savagery from Blake again! And he has no meters. So, I mean, he was just putting it all on the line there. And the oh no! Box. Toxin has no meter to break. He's almost there. That's gonna do it. He's not gonna get it. Blake, this man. Close enough to where if he has a really solid week this week. He can he can turn the tables on most everybody in that thing. Yeah, Talks I think is just on the outside of top twelve right now. And Talks and finally getting some get some momentum, the mix. some momentum of his own going, and working on a perfect of his own. Standing one into a throw. Oh, oh three <laughs> down fours <laughs> in a row. Okay, Blake put it all on that. The throw is gonna punish. I love the aggression from Blake. This this is this is fun to watch. Okay, that's a full punish. Gets Toxin to break. I don't I don't know if I'd have broke there. I 
I mean, he broke. They both had pretty much around 95% health. A couple pokes and, and, and block normals. Tox already has the first round. Now he has no meter. And Blake has three. Oh, look at these daggers from Blake. And that was great spacing for Toxin. And that's going to do it! That's, holy cow, that is going to do it. Great yeah. interactable. Great recognition by Tor. One, two between these two. What for, and what a nice punish. Great punish there. Blake, you see him throwing so much risk. It's, it's eventually, like I said, it wants Toxin getting to slow down and not fall for some of these some of these risks, it's gonna pay off. The down three and the EX push. It worked. I like it. It got him some help. Even though he really doesn't need it. Oh my god. Blake getting the damage. Still gonna take one more combo to maybe get him off yep. of those two barks. Exactly. Oh, it's gonna ship out. Round two. Fight. That's another punish. Tried to anti your full screen with that spear. That's what he was waiting for. That's that push is so good. Knocks him, gets staggered, puts the stage behind him. Blake just chipping away. He has not really got any good combos. This entire round gets himself out of the corner. I like it. Toxin just a hair edge meter, but they both have a breaker. Anything can happen here. Blake is on match point. Blake's and the stand three whiff on this channeling his inner raptor there. And Toxin has no breaker. He's got to keep this full combo into the mix. Ops to take control percent rather than go for the guess. And now no meter. If he had committed to the NJP, it would have worked. Staggered at death. Most of Ninjutsu's streams are safe. What the stand <laughs> one interrupt on the approach? That's gonna do it! Blake playing ridiculously out of his mind right now. He wanted and, brutal. And he had and he had the meter for the brutal. <laughs> Putting our thumbs. Watching the playoffs right now. Playoffs? Who cares about the playoffs? Combat Cup is on! <laughs> yep. Jared playing Crystalline Trimmer. We just saw Destroyer, and he has to have been putting in some work to make it this far. But can he handle the blind bird himself? Noble Queen. That down one into anything is going to do it here. You show little promise. Round two, fight. Tweety looking very sharp. Okay, went with the flash fairy thought. Checked out was coming from Tweety, but no. 31% by Tweety. No meter. Jared has all the bar. Tries the flash fairy, doesn't get anything for it, but a throw. Staggers by Tweety. And the back dash. That's wow. what I'm talking about. You do have a gap. When he goes for those mixes. No whip punish on the back one. That thing is... You have to whip punish that. Bad week and you just can't shake the funk. But Jared's switching to cutthroat right now. Up ball, whip, which is punishable. Goes with the overhead, burns the meter for the bar or the for the damage, 35% into a pump up. I'm not sure that Jared actually knows what he can do in this matchup. But if you don't, just go on offense. Learn the matchup later. And see if they know your offense. And he broke. Okay, you you have to do something now besides block and doesn't block the mix. My blade, thanks. And Noble Tweety, the bird. 
Bullet Bullet can strong. And very good armor there from Tweety. Yes, it was. 33%. And can we just say that? Tweety used the EX teleport, which does have armor. If he would have landed the jump and punch or the jump and kick, that would have been a full combo. So we can't say that Kenshi... That's an armored launcher right bit. there. Yes, does have a little bit of an armored launcher. Okay, you gotta watch the armor. It will come. Okay, he's got a break. Nobody has meter. That is punishable. We knew he didn't have the stamina to convert the full damage there and just went with that 16%. And that's 2 0 Tweety. One for top eight. All these are for top eight, baby. Every oh, single one. Man, we are. We're, we're there already. Now we're talking. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We got him with the low. Into the pump up. 41%. That's what I'm talking about. All these normals are coming. He has woken up now. He says, you know what? Stop me from pressing buttons. Good stagger by Tweety into the 12% throw. Gonna punish that knife throw. Jerry does have two bars. Nice back dash. He didn't do a jumping punch. Down three. He tried to go for another stream. My bleed. Thanks. Round two, fight. Match point now for Tweety looking to make top eight once again. Counter folks, walk up, throw. Jared, three bars right now. That will launch 20%. Well, luckily, Jared committed the advancing string. They're getting out of the drop on that EX teleport. But that would have been a full combo on deck. Very good counterpost from both players, but Jared just has been unable to, to start what Cutthroat needs, which is the huge damage opportunity here. He's got the bar to back it up, but he went for the EX. Bars. He went for the EX bar. Ooh, so that's gonna, gonna do, do it. it. Oh, thank God he got that conversion, Jared, alive out of nowhere. <laughs> that down three can be tricky at times. Okay. Good conversion, meterless, thirty-one percent. Very nice. Into the pump up. No. And there's that armored launcher from Kenshi. He just keeps getting him with this back one. Not, ooh, wrong way. And All he, of a sudden. Oh my God, he switched the inputs. Don't let this one get away from you, Jerry. You got it. Tweety is gonna steal this one. Oh no, Tweety's about to. Oh, he oh. went for it. Okay, hey, Samish, it's been so long since I've seen this freaking Melina in action. Has it? I just saw it at KID, Echo. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, <laughs> I can physically sit here at my house with my Fanta and watch Samish go to work. It's just not the same when you got everything else going on. And what a clean jumper from Young Monster. And this will be some corner carry. This is where things get really dirty. And that is a whiff punish on that back 3-3, and that's going to do it for this round, Samish. You're so much fun. Round two, fight. That was a really good anti-air by Young Monster. So we, we see Samish the, the very first couple of weeks. Ooh, and a raw roll. Very uncharacteristic of Samish. That's some max damage punish right there. 39 grown woman percent from Jackie. And that, that, was, one. that was a cheeky little stagger. Only opted for the one low and walked back like he was about to back two and then jumped in. And that is a pretty different way to stagger with Jackie. And that was a great, great little quick mix up by a monster. And he is rolling now. Yes, he is. No throw. That's the second time he's held that fade. Gotta throw him, no. That's gonna be a conversion. Young Monster can break if he chooses to, but he is not. And that was a, that was a great delay wake up, not having to eat that jumping from Young Monster, but he tried to armor that gap. One, two, three, 
Between the two and the three, it does have a gap there. You can armor, and I think that's what he tried. But his distance specific. Fight. Okay, we're going with the camo Jackie. Man, can we get the tank top Jackie? That's my favorite skin. Monster. Oh, corner carry. Corner carry. Damage. Mix on deck, but he does fade. And that that's a 50-50 in and of itself. Is she gonna do it or not? Because it's not outright a punish, but if you whiff, it sure is coming. Oh my god, no throw again. He's jumped out of that setup. It's not even really a setup, but he's jumped out of it every time. Oh, and that down one. Good chip. That's that. Those are those T-Rex arms that Jackie possesses. Enjoying yourself so far? Round two. Five. Just didn't have the reach to anti air crouch crumble that. The young monster. Ooh. The four caught him. What a read on the up rocket. 30%. And there it is again. Every time Samij is cornered, he uses the EX fade because Young Monster is not holding off with his pressure. Tried to corner switch. And Roll jump, into here. Jumping Roll against Molina. That is a big no no. Young Monster saying, you know what? I may not have a fade, but I got this back forward too. It'll get me out of there. Samij is looking to take this round. It's all tied up. Your combat Fight. cup leader. Fight. Looking to make top eight once again. And, and, and Young what? Monster trying as well to make a top eight, top eight of his own in points. All those down ones into the jump and punch setup. And these trades are not going to be a monster's favorite. Here we go. Oh, and, and it's a key. Come into pressure. He doesn't have a breaker. He can't. He doesn't have stamina. Just jumping in again. That could have been an easy one. Cryomancer? Cryomancer. And Young Monster. No, it's not. Are you serious? Wasting everybody's time. You know what? Oh, here we go. Nope. No. Young, just Monster, young, young Monster might be giving up here. He's saying, beat me. Samij, I can't compete with you. You're too good for me. I'm going to pick Crowmancer Sub-Zero and get bodied. But you know what? I'm just going to say it. Round two, fight. That round right there looked exactly like the other rounds with your Jackie. Getting bodied. Samij, just do it. And Samij here. This, this will be about the fifth time Young Monster gets double perfected on the combat cup. Yeah, you know what it is. And you went 0-2 at KIT. This is not a good couple weeks. This dude. And Samij working on a double flawless <laughs> that we've seen numerous times. In Fight. And special forces of all things. This thing can get pretty dirty, dude. Oh, no. So it doesn't it doesn't send the orb back, but it does negate it. So it yep. doesn't give it doesn't do any damage. But but very very good from Retro Tech to, to to see what happened the very first time, and then change up the second time, and actually punish. And this is a matchup, man. Like <laughs> I mean, it's just one of those things where you may actually not know this matchup. And look at that! The, the, the recovery is actually in Retro Tech's favor, but but now he has to get drawn up and escape hard. But Dragon gives it to him with that jump. And how many times does Jab DP work for a Dragon? And in the X-ray parry. And Dragon's not gonna have either to break here. But Retro not Tech sure. is not gonna have a drone to play with. Oh, and he what a big drop! <laughs> into a throw. It's not going to kill, but it's going to be close. Oh, and that's a punish. He thought Dragon was going to run up, you know, do something just to chip him out. Dragon's 
Dragon's got him in the corner, 32%, backs off, back dash. And Retro, right now, is opting to keep things close. And all these overheads. Down three, into a throw, gets him in the corner. And not quick enough, had to read, just not quick enough, and that's unbreakable damage. 32%. Not so much of a dozen. And as you saw, there's an old dragon in third in points. He's pretty much all but set for finals. Just looking to... Very nice wood punish with the dive kick. Just looking to hold on to what he's got. Just try to maintain the, 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 the number three seed. Because it's, it's, it's going to be pretty tough to try to catch up on uh, Fox and Samish. But you never know, a couple of wins without Sonic Fox here. Dragon is very... Looks very good to try to win this this week. Okay, decides to come in. Both have three bars. What's it gonna be? This is dangerous. I like the way it was going. And Dragon getting his damage done now. Forcing Retro Tech to break. You can see Retro Tech was ac he actually had the health lead, just staying full screen, and then decided to run in and double crossover, and then everything went downhill. Dragon keeping his face so well, and just content with throwing these fans and building all this meter. No anti air. Good blocks by both. No whip punish. Oh, Tries to go for Sorry, the back guys. one. I need to switch names on you. Oh, very nice running. Has no meter. Dragon still has three bars. You've got to be really careful. Very nice. It saved him back one into a throw. Dragon going to be content sitting on all three bars. And was hoping for a miracle there just to get some momentum going. Retro has no meter left. Dragon can do any damage that he wants. And man, it's, 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 it's gonna do so much damage meterlessly, and then he's gonna have an x-ray. Yes, sir. That Retro Tech has to be frightened of for the rest of this set. Especially now that he is down this far in health. This is so frightening. Up. I would be mm. so f afraid to press a button. Oh, One block! Know. That's what's even savage, is I'd be even afraid to block this. And wow, good blocks from Dragon of his own! From my foot to your ass. Okay, 4-2. Good block by Retro Tech, gets the drone out. Still down on health, sends the drone down. Oh, but Dragon coming in, job kick missed, and he reversed the input. The fan going the other way. Both, both are sitting on X-Ray. Dragon's gonna try and bait him into using that X-ray preemptively, and then go for his own. I guarantee you that's what's gonna happen, and we'll find if out. If he Retro had Tech Dragon, just sitting here, if he had Dragon, time. just a little lower on health, those EX rings could be a factor. And wow, Dragon with the huge read at the end there. If Wait, Retro but... Tech would have just let it rip on the run in, that would have been a crazy Epic. sequence. But Dragon getting the better. End of the read. And he's gonna go up 2-0. We're seeing if he had just run in behind the uh, drum projectile and just let it rip. I would have probably cried a little bit. Can you imagine if Dragon did let the X-ray rip and, and Retro Tech parried the X-ray? That would have been so. It would have been. Yeah, that would have been badass. I wouldn't have a voice anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Game number three. Noble Dragon there it is. looking to move back in the top eight as as one of the absolute favorites this week. His his biggest nemesis did not enter. The win is all that has eluded Dragon. He's been in second place so many times before. These crouches by Retro Tech are so good.
Right now, Retro Tech is not winning this, this battle. Both and once again, full screen, both with X-Ray. We've seen this story before. <laughs> I like it. Oh, he went with oh and he does catch him on the jump in. That is going to do it. Retro Tech with the read. Once that dive kick whipped, he saw Dragon in the air. What? And X-Ray. Here we go, guys. Retro Tech back in the game. Tries to carry the drone. I don't think it's going to work. But you know, it, it did cost him all the meter, but he's already up a round. So he can build his meter up this round and and have, you know, close to three bars in the, in the last, if it goes that far. The dragon's still sitting on three bars, has not burned a single bar. And you know, this zoning battle has been pretty even, and Retro Tech has built his X-Ray back already! Oh my there god! It what a, and this looks like such a great pick now from Retro Tech. Even though he's down, it's been close, and he's winning the zoning battle! Okay, the forward two got him. And yes, this is very smart from Retrotech not to break and just let this happen. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No! He did go for it! Oh my gosh, now Dragon is such a great position. I would have just let that play out and go into round three completely even. Dragon so patient, was waiting on it. And Dragon actually did an unbreakable combo, hoping to end that round, and, and it didn't do the damage. And Retro thought he could capitalize with Dragon trying to chip him out. Now if that X-Ray would have worked on the other hand, completely different, we'd be singing a different tune, Echo. He, yeah, he would be a complete and utter genius. Dragon come off one bar there with whipping a butt slam by about, about three quarter screen. <laughs> oh, it, it, yes, here we go. Dragon now is in control, but Retro has another X-Ray! This yes, is a meter building machine! Three. Okay, block the mix, gets the drone, has the break. Both have a bar. The drone got him out of the meter burn. Good block. That's gonna do it. Dragon moves on to top eight. That was an incredible round from Dragon. Shinobi, Retro Tech. Uh, CK Shinobi, Retro Tech. Oh, woo. Yeah, we're going in, man. Ready or not, we're going in. Silver Eye gets the first hit with a low fireball. Cancel into the back one, too. Silver Eye gets it back in the corner. Cancel into. Mmm, back in. And this walk speed by Liu Kang, Silver Eye. Using it so effectively, and finally, Blake able to get some damage, but push right back to full screen again. Okay, tried to go with the 4 2. Blake opts to break with this health deficit, but I don't know, the mix is real. Silver Eye did not block the overhead, he gets launched for a full combo. What's the mix down for? Oh, and a great one of the meter burns it! Meter burns it. it. That had to have been an input error on Silver Eye's part. And now he has oh. no breaker! Oh, and a great hit flying gift from Silver Eye. That almost yeah. got turned around quick. That meter burn throw. Fight. Back one two and a back one two. Meter burns the bicycle kick, which does launch. Pushing him to the corner, 33%. Back on to backhand. And crouches the throw. The awareness by Jago Blake. What a favorite check from Silver Eye. And this. There's that risk of time out from Blake, where he just got through a raw poke and teleport. He's playing savagely right now. And he would have kept that overhead safe. Silver Eye's got a breaker. Let's see if Blake can get him off it early. Very nice whip punish by Blake. Silver Eye sitting on two bars. Drops the combo. Ooh, I like that. Jumping kick and a teleport full screen. 
burns the bar to launch. Ooh, Silver Eye getting swaggy on us. Instant air fireballs. 41%. 41. That's some girl man damage right there from Silver Eye. Okay, and that's a punish. Oh, and he drops the combo, but then, uh, yeah, even if you wouldn't have gone for that, you would have had a chip out situation there. <laughs> but I hope it happens to me. Okay, counters with an armored interactable itself. Gets the first hit, gets that meter back. Owen didn't have the stamina to cancel, just dashes into a throw. And so far, I was some less pressure of his own, but like, this will turn it around. Oh! Not good. I see if he still connects. Into a throw of his own. Still has a little bit of mm, a little bit of work to do. One one four into a teleport. Will Silver Eye break? Yes, he will. He wants the round. Ooh, the what a back dash. And I had not seen that from Blake in any of the previous weeks. And multiple times tonight, he's done that quick little back back dash step. And has whiffed on so many things tonight. Great place to get Blake there. Right, and he went for it again. That's the same thing. He did a neutral jump punch. Dash up takedown without a breaker to back it up. Savage Blake, ladies and gentlemen. And there it is again. The conversion. Blake up around has two bars. Has tied this thing up. As far as health goes, the backhand. By Silver Eye. Blake Payne, very patient, and that is going to do it. If he, ooh, no, it's not. I thought he had all that meter. He would go for the damage, and he is going to go for the brutality. No, he dropped it. He had all the meter to finally do it. Fight. Run up, down four. And you know, when it's oh my gosh, what a whip from from Blake. As Silverite, you're not too sure if you have to play more aggressive or more defensive, because playing more de defensive, I mean, this is a this is a 50/50 character. And if you get more aggressive, some of the crazy things that Blake's been doing, like a random EX teleport, uh, or as we see, take down all, all those things, they start working more the more aggressive you get. Right. So you have to find that kind of medium ground and. It paid off for him in game one where he finally baited out something crazy from Blake at the end. Because there have been times where aggression has actually not paid off for Silver Eye. Blake with the back dash and then the whip punishes and then the random teleports. And this is going to do it. Blake is going to go up. He's going to go up around here. Silver Eye just not able to find his footing after that first match. And like you said, sometimes the more aggressive you get going against somebody like Blake right now, the worse it can get. And it just kind of slows you down, hoping that he's going to do something risky, and when he doesn't, it throws your whole game off. And Blake has so much meter here. And you can see he didn't even That's go for a That one has stopped so much. Oh, and he went for it. He gambled it all. And very good block for Mike to even block the follow-up. And he, he hasn't cornered. He can get things going here. Yeah, this is going to be big damage. If he opens him up one more and time, that's going to do, do it. Just like that. Great patience from Silver Eye. And their pace is playing off. Final round five. That's how fast it can happen in the combat cup. One mistake. That's the second time we've seen an extra that cost somebody around. Oh, and the great patience. I love that from Silver Eye. Just hanging out, but there we go. That aggression. Not paying off a of Silver Eye. And it was, that was so quick. That has to throw you off your game so much. Where you're playing a nice spacing game, you make a good read to get in, and then that that pressure you, you gets backdashed, whiff punished, it just throws you off your game. 
Let's still run two bars here. Oh, this chip. One boost hit. Oh, and that's gonna be a whip punish. That's gonna do it. And, and we get a brutality. Punished. Thank you, Blake. He heard us. And he said, you know what? I got you covered. This is Blake from State Farm. I got you covered. But Kenji saved him a few times here in combat go. The standing three. EX teleport to start this thing off already. Savage Blake, ladies and gentlemen. And painting out the armor! Oh my and a God, whiff whip punish. punish! What is going on? He's playing out of his mind! Like once in that top eight. The thing about it is, the people that are ahead of you, you gotta knock them down. And that's exactly what he's doing the throw. And he jumped out of the load. That's exactly what you gotta do. This is some of the best Mortal Kombat I've seen out of an individual. You guys are witnessing something magical. This is awesome. But we'll see if so far I can turn things around. It does open up a glow. One, what's for breakfast? Into the overhead. Game Blake baits out the armor. Silverai this entire time has to watch out for teleport. It's so frightening. Yes, sir. Any projectile. It can come at any moment. The 4-2 gets it. We're converting for damage. EX teleport. Resets the entire combo. And goes for 34%. And jumping Just out, out of it again. And a big drop from Blake! So far, still has a chance! Oh, and no punish! Oh, and that's gonna be a punish on Blake. He had the round. Very good from Silver Eye. Just not doing the map 100% right. Blake there at the end with the EX teleport. Silver Eye hanging on by a thread now, and what a reaction from Blake to start off round number three. Silver Eye can still tie this thing up. EX teleport, no. Back one into a low. Without meter, this Kenji really doesn't have as much damage off of those projectiles. And what a stagger from Blake. This is it, one more mix. Stay safe, negative five with EX spear. Both have a bar. And anything Rai does could potentially just be reacted to by Blake with an EX teleport. He's trying to bait out that teleport at any moment. He's running in, stops. Good clock, back one, no mix. Very oh, nice. Just gets the air to air, but does get the conversion. And he does not this? have. No, he, oh, he didn't take the grab. He didn't get the breaker until the spear happened. He had the meter, but not the resources. And Blake is going to advance into top. And here we go. Illusions going with Reptile versus Destroyers. Predator. Ooh, and Basculus up, baby. Swaggy combo. 40%. Jesus. Illusions getting things started here. And the, oh my goodness, he saw the jump in, did the dash, went right under it, so smart. Illusions. I've I've been curious to see if Illusions would break up Reptile more, because he has a really good Reptile. And we see him pick it a lot more often now. And Predator is definitely a bully against a couple of Illusions main spawn. When Quan gets cornered by this next four man, it is an uphill battle. And Quotal as well, especially full screen. Uh, can easily get zoned out. So uh, I can definitely see Illusions playing with a couple characters against Predator. Final round fight. And Bra jumping from Destroyer. Has the bar to put him back in the corner. Does get Illusions off the break. Really breaks. Oh, you see what I he think, tried to do there? Yep. I think I think wait, I think he actually may have made this space. I think he wanted to whiff it and then continue pressure. 
it looked to me like he was using that force ball just to dash in. Even if he blocked it, he had to respect him because it, the force ball was still there. Oh, the Destroyer is just going to make this full lasers. screen arsenal. And he's going to go up 1-0. One of the funnest guys to watch in the Mortal Kombat community. All these dashes are working at the moment. Oh, and that one's blocked. But you know, when you block it, it even though that thing's pretty, pretty negative, it's it's such. It has no block stuff. It just you're. It takes you a minute to realize you've blocked it. Into a disc. It just dashes right out and says, "I don't respect this setup. Watch me." And Illusion's getting hit by a lot of zoning. That's something I've, I've, I've been noticing, is that the zoning battle is definitely in Destroyer's favor. You know, Acid Spit is a great projectile very fast. Just not able to compete. Ooh! Oh, he does get a conversion! He does! And this combo, 33%. Illusion's very respectful right now. Into the overhead, 17%. The disc is going to be the round. And that's it. Oh, 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 it. He actually didn't have the stamina to run mid uh, combo there. If Illusions win this, wins this, he will jump ahead of Young Monster and Raptor for ninth place in the combat cup. That's what he's looking for, and he's putting it all on Reptile's shoulders. Every disc setup, he dashes, and I like it. Okay, that does a safe low. Ooh, and no interruption there. He could have interrupted before that force ball came out. Very nice hit confirmed by Illusions into the... Oh no, he dropped the Basilisk combo. And through the end of the Basilisk, destroy using the last of his meter. He built another one. And one... Oh, oh no, he got um, This could be bad. This could be really bad. Illusions has blocked the mix and the pressure with no meter. And that, ooh! So much, so much. And, and oh, he's got it. I actually couldn't tell who won because Reptile's Brutality works the exact same way with that acid spin. And you know, that may not be a good matchup on paper, but Sonic Fox's reads to get in are ridiculous. I mean, best in the business. He, he finds, he just finds ways in all the time. It's crazy. I watch him and go, if I tried that, I would have gotten anti-aired and I would have died. Yup. But with Sonic Fox, it just works. And every, and a lot of top players can attest to that, where Sonic Fox just does things that only Sonic Fox does and it works. Illusions had the momentum in this. Destroyer looking for his way in. Hit confirms, will he burn the bar? Yes, he will. Into the big boot, another disc setup. Oh, and got him with the disc. This is going south for Illusions. He still has a breaker, but is it worth it? And Predator with Cassie slap right back in her face. Fight. Oh, bro, Destroyer's going for the read on the jump out of the corner. <laughs> or possible, possible interactable out of the corner. Illusions trying to, or Destroyer trying to keep him in this corner to get his pressure going. Very nice back one too. One more combo from Destroyer is going to close this this match and set out. And one there's EX on deck. And, uh, Destroyer, 3-0 over Illusions, fourth place in the Combat Cup, and he looked. With that new Sonya technology going. Standing one into the low. Get the damage into a reload. And just getting absolutely mixed. Will the overhead come? He's got him with low. He gets himself out. Into the overhead. Sorcerer. 
can easily... Oh, and he's taking all the meter. Doesn't go with the armor. Yeah, I think what Scar did going in is he just wanted to get oh. in and mix this man. Quan's biggest weakness, any kind of pressure, and almost looping 50-50 uh, pressure is just an absolute weakness. He's, he's another one of those characters with the life alert on him. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> yes. But, he's also got the exact opposite where he can actually make a comeback with that 1.5%. With one good read, Quan can come back in an instant. See, making him okay. Scar is out of grenades. Scar immediately breaks. Ghost from oh, the and that just outside of trance range. That looked very close to working. And if it would have worked, it would have been okay. Sky drop works. How unfortunate. With the respect right now, just letting Scar get his offense going. He is out of grenades, missed the trance, reloads, and burns all the grenades again. And Sky Drop works. We're going into a round three in match one. And a lot, lot of whiff on that overhead. Scar almost getting the full combo. What a full screen run up read by Scar. That couldn't have could not have been a reaction on the startup. Of a rune, he just read this man. And now he gets to play demo on his game. And then the run the song. through the backdash. Scar. Couple huge reads to start game number three. And then down two is gonna do it. That was a 1-0. Let's see if they can turn around. It wasn't it looked like an absolute scrap until the last round. Okay, there's that. Absolutely. Crazy mid of Sonya's. Scar does have a lot of point experience. He, he was, he's been fighting Cory the Dragon since day one down there in the big old state of Texas. Ooh, I'm not sure if that was plus or if it was just slightly negative or it could be staggered. It dinked through one of those strings that Scar was probably like, what string was that? And by the time he thought that, <laughs> he was already getting mixed. Right. And that, that's the first time I think that Dink has pulled out the actual armor instead of the purple, let me take your meter, as you call it, the money pit. And it seems to work really good against those grenades. The down three, Andy crossover. That is one of my favorite things to watch Dink do. He's the, one of the best in the business side. What a big read to try to steal this game from Scar, but he's so good at that down three stand for trans uh, conversion. running away with this round, but there's oh, another down two just waiting. And catching him out of the wake up, Lucha Jump Punch, and Ooh. another down three stand four trance. Anti-air from Dink. It's gonna be a hard knockdown. Is he gonna money pit up? Nope. He's gonna try and take his meter. Take and take a lot of it, he does. He's burning a lot of his own. The Scar still has one bar. Back four, tried to whip punish. Down two. It's trading with an Emuja jump punch. Oh my gosh. It's and a walk up over him. Jesus Christ. He caught him out of a attempt at loading grenades. Very uncharacteristic uh, load there from Scar. And what a, what a great reaction from Ding to be able to convert that. Back in the, back in the portal. Oh, the reads right now from Shijinka Ding. So good. Is, is gonna money pit up? Here it comes. It is now raining armor, but very good from Scar getting under and then throwing the one two to break the armor and still combo on the way down. Does have the grenade to convert here. And he and goes for no punish. We still have to eat two more grenades. This is gonna be close to the kill. What's Scar? Ooh, no, and then Scar is gonna steal the. Oh my god, and the man is teabagging. On your rune, but. That's something that. He has to look out for now is when he's got that activated, Scar just running in and doing a one-two. Dink kinda on tilt right now, gets a down three into a crossover into this combo, drops it. 
Invincible wake up, Bastonia. Okay. Reloads. Does not throw another grenade. And this is gonna chip. And did you see the actor frames on her neutral jump? Uh, four? Where he... He went up with it, and it was still active almost on the way down. And Scar, match point here. Dink is not playing his normal game. Down three. Alright, goes. He wants to take all this meter. Oh, but he could have taken a whole lot more. After that EX room, could have got another one. This is an absolute scramble right now. A throw. Scar, I think, was reading that he was trying to set up the portal right there after that throw just to see. And Demo oh, Sonya of old on deck. All these mixes, you can't block right forever. You've got to compete with. Oh, you've got to do something. Jumps into the grenade, instantly breaks. Nice dash. Oh, and he dive instant kick. dive kick. This won't kill. Gonna get the reload. It jumps right into it, expecting a dive kick. Scar still going with it, and explodes the upper body of the man for in and the pogo stick beating out a down three there early Reppa getting things going and not even a special skin scorpion this is literally the same scorpion I just picked and what is this actually Reppa leafing Incredible corner pressure! Good lord! Hello! Round two. Fight. John Cena's got to catch to catch in as much as the bank or something, because right now he can see everything. This man is on tilt. Okay, getting a little bit of stuff going here. Continues pressure into a down three, a throw. That was a very nice whip punish by Revit Leafy. I do that for Dragon now, because that's that's Dragon's thing now. He likes to make fun of how I say Revit Leafy. If somebody actually made a meme with a frog, a frog's head on somebody, Revit Leafy for his opponent. I like this all color though, black and gold. And guys, just a reminder. John Cena here did have a 3-2 victory over Biohazard, and it was a reverse 3-0. At that, Biohazard was up 2-0, and he came back three straight games. That's actually really amazing. Does he, he's not really even... Okay, here we go. Conversion, standing three to teleport into Spear. I was going to say, like, that first match, he really wasn't doing all that much. He was on defense. But this match... And, and you know, when you're... When you're on defense against a character that you rarely see, like Dragon Agnata, it's gonna be so difficult. And once a once a player like Revel who knows what he's doing, has been playing this character forever, knows all the ins and outs, it, it can be a train wreck. That's why I say, man, if you don't know a matchup, just go on offense. That's the best way to learn it. Oh, it got him with the overhead. That thing is so slow, and it got him 26%. Using the pogo, being up, being up in the air, being nice and grab immune, mm. and he has tried to neutral jump punch that, and has gotten a uh, jump kick numerous times for it. He is sitting on three bars, so he will go into round three with all three bars filled. Final round, fight. I want to try to go for, I'm going to assume a teleport. Looks like an ear. Yeah, teleport. All his meter is And what an anti-air for Revelief thing. Amazing anti-air. I, I believe that normal's called bitch slap. Or it's, 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 uh, yeah. Well, she does have one called that. And this yeah. could actually do a chip. 
Very good stuff from Revelation. Smalled. Chopped Johnny, off. Johnny cheated. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Tried to go with a 4 2, just not going to work. Okay, back four. Down three into a throw. That's worked so much for him. Down three into throw. He's got to be expecting a teleport, and he was! He just cannot keep track of Tanya. And once okay. again, the startup of the X teleport! Revan all over this man! Can you imagine if Tanya was in a back to block game? Like, that would be freaking ridiculous. Her just going every which way. Revit is still sitting on three bars, and that's and look at I've not use, even seen that normal. The use of all of these tools from Revit Leafing, this man is a Tanya master. Knows everything about Tanya, knows the ins and outs, and can switch between all three variations at a whim. And we have seen him do that. So right now, oh my god, oh, the X-ray! And this, this man should kill! kill. Oh, that, was a whole, that was a whole lot of scaling! Holy cow, 28% and an instant drill. Against Cyber Sub Zero. Nice, and crossover by Kandar. Nice dive kick. Ooh, the conversion by PL right now into the orb head. Ooh, this just match up. Work. This matchup gets really good for Cyber once he gets you cornered with a hard knockdown, but it's really hard to deal with the stagger pressure from Tempest Lao, and it's a battle of huge mobility. Huge mobility. Dive kicks everywhere. Lao's got teleports on deck. The back three. Excellent spacing by PL to make that back three connect. Oh my god. Oh my, the savagery has reached an all-time high. He burned meter for 14%. All this, but Jesus Christ, PL, please. I'm not even sure what just happened. That big damage. Big old damage. 14% is a decent BMB. <laughs> Well, that's Especially a, for a bar. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually a really decent cyber combo. Yeah, okay. Oh, look, look at that. 20%. Oh, no. Not going for any any mix there with Kandar. He had the opportunity to go into Mix City. But the spin. Very good because if he would have eaten that dive, if he eaten that dive kick, that would have been the overhead low coming really fast. And no matter which one hits, uh, the overhead over the low. Uh, that is going to launch back into the corner, into another hard knockdown, into another guest situation. And that is Cyber Sub-Zero. He just wants to get you in the corner and mix you. That's all he wants to do, okay? He just wants to have a good time. Nice slide in. And what's fantastic about Cyber is he has such great mobility. Very nice. He could close out the round. Very good from Kendar. Left a couple percentages on the board, but they're tighter combos. If you do jump in back two combos, you can get... Uh, upwards of around 30 Fight. on your BNB, but a lot tighter. And you saw someone like me drop it against Foxy, and I just hug myself. But... So they, they are really tight. So I like Kandar keeping it nice and simple. He's going to get the forward tune hard knockdown. And what's the mix? And what a great little conversion from Kandar. Guess, guess again. He was going and... for the throw. He does convert 22%. And the raw spin. There are negative frames once he puts that bomb out to where you can jump or wake up. Very good dive kick. Oh, that's a punish. That's gonna do it. Kandar on the board. Ooh. And Cyber has a lot of brutalities. Fight. Immediate meter burn teleport. Kandar has the first hit. That means he has two bars of meter now. Ooh. 26. Oh, 
full oh, punish. Oh, that's a full punish. Did he just get an ice bomb out? Well, he was from. Oh, I've never seen that before. I don't even know what's happened. That was nuts. I'm gonna have to watch that in the archives. I have no idea what just happened. I don't think he did. I, I have never seen a bomb come out while someone was frozen. Well, I, I guess the bomb came out before he was frozen. That, that was such an odd little thing. And does the EX switch will restand? Kale's gonna get a good corner carry. Ooh, and that is that low launcher. And that four with the orbital hat. And that was max distance too. Ooh. Very cheeky walk back from PL to go into it. PL didn't have to burn the bar in there. I don't know why he did. It's okay. He got the round. Both of them don't have a bar. Kenar about to build it. One little instant with die kick. Anything's gonna build a bar. And Kenar should not press the button. When he teleports in with that orbital hat on, you have to respect that. I think he tried to teleport at the last second, let go of block. Or and he wanted just to crouch. Kendar actually could have got a little more corner push with a 4-4-3 uh, forward, forward with dive kick and then 4-2 to get him really close to the corner. But I'm not going to judge. Here we go. Okay, that is plus. Down 4 into a dive kick. That's a punish. Oh, and... and He's gonna be guessing in the corner unless he wakes up with an EX, EX teleport. Oh, and it throws him. What's he going with? 17%. Oh, and he and crouched it. That was amazing. so close. But he had the hat. Finished. PL luckily got that. He almost dropped 11 <laughs> full play out with a bang. You heard that, Kandar. You gotta tie this thing up. Take us to a match five. PL getting the grab early. That's a mean 40% to start. The game that is the big boy damage with Kung Lao. And Peel has to watch out here. Any stray hit that, that's in the back flying will put him on the puddle. Puddle going away. Right as he goes on top of it. Nice. Thought he was going to convert that PL on set point. Just like that. And this has been Peel's style ever since MK9. It's very fast play. He, he wants to get you tilted. A lot of jumping around. Plays very, very fast paced. He was one of the first in the MK community to set that that kind of tempo. Playing at such a fast pace and catching your opponent off guard so fast. By the time they adjust, they're in losing bracket. Just able to capitalize on all of this that he's doing. This is a it's a very familiar but a very different feel because he, he's okay. Kandar got him with the whip punish. 19% into a freeze. 31%. I think that's the biggest combo he's done yet. Instant dive kick. And very Kandor good punch. stuff. Ooh. That was fantastic corner play by Sub Sub Zero, who is still one of these step like characters. And what a hit confirmed on the 1 1 1. Very good. Not over committing. But just oh. Good delay Smart for PL. PL that. Oh, that's a punish again, PL. PL going back to the corner. Cyber Sub Zero's favorite place to be. Bomb on deck. Oh my god, the stagger. Instant overhead dive kick. And if PL had gone for the grab, he would have put himself on the puddle. So yes, smart from Kandar. Okay. Kandar trying to get a couple frames to work with. So many down fours, and he connects it. It's not gonna kill. 39%. Orbit hat. Teleport. Oh no! Armor. Mobility. One, one more hit for oh both these guys! God. And Kandar putting so many recovery frames on the screen, going for the bomb. PL throwing the hat, and that is gonna take it. PL is gonna advance in the top eight for the first time here at the Combat Cup, making a nice oh, robot yeah. lotus. Fatality. It's so beautiful. It is. And it's, it's dripping all the good... 
I don't even know. <laughs> I 